A UN-backed panel of experts has concluded the hole in the ozone layer could fully recover in the next few decades. And an international agreement from the 80s to phase out the use of harmful chemicals such as CFCs has been credited with its progress so far. Lucy Thompson reports. In recent years, the ozone layer could have been better described as the whole zone. The thin layer of the Earth's atmosphere, which absorbs harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun, began depleting in the 70s. But a new report by UN, US and EU agencies reveals human action to save the ozone layer is working. The ozone layer is on track to recover within four decades. And the Montreal Protocol, signed in 1987, two years after a gaping hole in the ozone layer was discovered, is being credited. The phase-out of nearly 99% of banned ozone-depleting substances has succeeded in safeguarding the ozone layer, leading to a notable recovery of the ozone layer in the upper stratosphere and, and decreased human exposure to harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. Those ozone-eating chemicals include CFCs that were used as solvents and refrigerants. According to the report, if current policies are maintained, the ozone layer will be restored, and sooner than you might think. Over the Antarctic, where ozone depletion is at its worst, it's hoped to be restored by 2066. Over the Arctic, they're anticipating recovery by 2045. As for everywhere else, it could be just two decades away. The report also details how saving the ozone layer could prevent up to one degree of warming by the middle of this century because of the reduction of greenhouse gases. But a NIWA scientist says the impact is complex. There's small potential for offsetting some CO2 that we might be sending into the atmosphere, but uh, that alone will not be sufficient to stop global warming. But Morganston says we should acknowledge the success of this international agreement in our efforts against climate change. In principle, we can look at this as an example of what can be done if countries work together and get serious about this problem. An encouraging reminder that the damage we've caused to the planet can be reversed. Lucy Thompson, News Hub.